I just wanted to make a quick video on it was a res response really like I just did a quick response on <clears throat> somebody commenting on my channel uh, my video uh, like a fire being salvation by the grace of God you know like basically he said that uh, like a fire isn't salvation and I said oh it's not salvation right that oh a, a demon must have mingled my like mangled up my mind or something you know and then um, like I just asked him like okay well what is it then but then he was like he said it's just uh, the worst rape horror torture vomit and everything you know that that's what the lake of fire is right basically basically god doing all these things to sinners and stuff like that which is you know ridiculous then he says my mind was you know the one um, <laughs> sorry you know he's saying that i'm the one you know being deceived by a devil or something but yeah he says things like that on my channel and it's like so you're the one that's been mangled up and, and deceived by a devil and I told him to repent of his you know his, 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 his western mindset of you know his, his, from his violent atonements to hell because it kind of goes back to his atonement right i'm sure he believes in the violent atonement about the angry you know the angry vindictive god that had to you know kill his own son to appease his own anger which is sin by the way i mean that's that's pretty much like cain you know cain murdered his brother to appease his own wrath and anger you know and he shed the blood of an innocent and it's like you know it's really the god that that guy worships he doesn't even know it and he says i'm the one that's confused and deceived and yet he's saying all these demonic things it's like how am i the one that's deceived and he obviously didn't watch my video and and so i just wanted to point that out that that's basically uh you know a, a fruit of that eternal hell myth that demonic lie that is pretty much uh you know a sign of a spiritual illness that that man has that that person has you know saying that stuff and it's like i mean it's clearly a sign of spiritual illness that's what i'm saying that that doctrine of eternal hell spews and you know, causes infections like that, messes with people's minds and hearts and spirit and things like that. And, um, and I think I think it bred more spiritual diseases than it, you know, than it helped. I mean, it really caused more problems than it helped. Really, you get people like that with that kind of mentality. You know, and in my previous video, before this one, uh. The one of me reading with from the prayer books, you know, there's a lot of prayers in there where you're supposed to desire the salvation of your enemies. But yet he says, Oh but God doesn't decide God doesn't desire that. God wants to torture and kill and rape all of them in like a fire. That's what that is. I was like, how oh, that, that's what I'm saying, it's like the ridiculousness of his view. And his view kinda that spirit kind of does run rampant. And people who believe in eternal hell. Like, you know, it's like, because uh, I don't see that in anyone who believes in universal salvation. And that usually happens with people who believe in eternal hell, have some aspect of that. Or they have uh, a violent view of the atonement or something. Like, usually, those two kind of reinforce each other. Like, if you have a violent view of the atonement, then most likely it would follow that God would eternally damn and torture people for all eternity. 
And so I just thought it was ridiculous. Like, I mean, I wasn't sure if I should make a video about it, but I thought I'd just comment it because I mean, I think it was important to point out that man's, you know, the way of that, the way of this man's thinking, how perverse it is, you know. He doesn't even know it. He's unaware of his sickness. Maybe he's convinced that this is God, that this is Christ, right? Even though, like I said in the prayer books, talk about praying for the salvation of the world and the healing of the nations and things like that, and praying for your leaders and praying for your spiritual father, praying for other people, so that God, you know, could heal them using your prayers as well through your prayers so your prayers be answered and give you opportunity to earn you know a prophet in his kingdom you know and so I, I mean it, it's just you know dumb like the people who believe in eternal hell they kind of have that weird way of thinking and you know try to justify it through justice but that, that stuff is not justice it's just cruelty that's all it is, just a bunch of cruelty. They'll just lie and say it's justice. But no, it's just cruelty. Like, you know, true justice is restorative. I was going to read from Santo Clarko's book, but uh, I decided not to because it's late. I'm tired. I just wanted to make a quick video. It's like, you know, I just got done praying and made a short video on you know, the reading from the prayer books. And I remember I remember that comment that that, um, that guy left on my channel. But yeah, just some guy just being ridiculous and that's what I'm saying. I think it, it just I think it just caused more sicknesses in people's mentality, how they think, how they see God, how they see other people. And it's just inconsistent. It creates some kind of I don't know, some kind of like weird uh, narcissistic love that if you don't love me back, I'm going to hurt you kind of thing, which is perfectly what that God is of his, you know, and then the other one, uh, it's just, a, it's just a perverse love. That's all it is. You say it does these things like, that's just how they think. So I'm glad I repented of that lie. So I just want to say this quick video. Anyway, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, good night.